Hi, I hope you're doing well. When I thought life couldn't get any more overwhelming, it did exactly that. And I'm sure it's the same for you too. Today, I'll be using oil paints and an old canvas with textured paint on it. When I'm painting something, I usually have leftover paint and I like to take it and put it on a canvas so that it gives texture and a base for the next painting I might do. And also by doing this, it doesn't go to the trash so I don't feel bad. Today I'll be painting me, my face to be exact. Uh, like a lot of people, I have a lot of insecurities and things I would love to change about my face. In order to overcome those insecurities, I thought painting them would be the way to go. If I analyze my face, maybe I won't care about it as much. And believe it or not, by the end of this, I felt more okay with the face I was born with. While painting or drawing, an artist looks at the object, inspects it, and makes shapes out of it, and puts all that information into a canvas or a paper. And that got me thinking. I have a skull that consists of a nose, eye sockets, and teeth for a certain purpose. And what we see is a layer of meat covering all that. Imagine how disgusting we would look without all that meat. I'm getting carried away, but what I want to say is that overanalyzing something helps me disassociate with that thing. Maybe it's the same for you too. started this painting almost eight months ago so like last year and didn't touch it since and i have to say that 
it looks like I've improved a little even though I haven't painted in a long long while well painting this I really struggle with doing the lips and the neck I really don't know why that is maybe it's because I didn't analyze it well enough also as you can see the light thing keeps changing so the painting looks very different from different clips uh, I cannot stay seated for long so it resulted in this I just I would love to sit for hours and just paint but I wasn't built for that I will have to do better next time with the filming part though this really shows how much impact lighting makes on our perception of things. And I also have to apologize for the fact that I didn't film some of the footage because I started getting annoyed since the tripod was getting in the way and it's also in the footage so and I couldn't take it off. I'll also have to work on that. Uh, the background color also changed from red, green to pink and then to blue. And I'm actually proud of the choice that it ended up with blue because it ended up emphasizing the pinks on the face. It really made things pop in my opinion. And if you were wondering what my insecurities are, I will tell you my biggest one. It's drumroll. It's my nose. And now that I told you, you won't be able to look at me the same again. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. It's too late. <laughs> Well, if you want to keep supporting me, please like and comment on this video. Thank you so much. Mwah. Bye.